so mo most most houses that we get is um like i was saying like like real estate is not really when i got into real estate it wasn't really i figured really quick that it was it's not about real estate this is pure entrepreneurship in general so you learn the skills of finding good deals solving problems right and then getting a profit out of a problem you just solved most properties that we get is people that are act, you know going through divorce foreclosure the bank is trying to take their property um they have liens uh you know like it's people that actually have problems we do get properties where people don't have financial problems but they have a problem the problem sometimes could be as simple as i'm tired of this house i'm tired of you know doing the grass i'm too old i'm tired of my tenant calling me at midnight right um I'm, I'm too old for that like my tenant is always calling me so we call that a tired landlord so you get into it you start understanding that you got to shift your mindset into oh i'm into this to to make money i need my 10k now to pay my rent to let me find people that have problems and i help them solve their problem and the check that i get is a result of the problem i just solved so like every single time you check your bank account you're like okay how many problems did i solve this month if your bank account is at zero, you haven't solved any problem. That, that's the reason why Amazon today, he is one of the wealthiest person on earth, because he solved the problem. Same thing for, you know, uh, Steve Jobs. Freaking iPhones, best investment ever, guys. This, this iPhone brings me a minimum, minimum of 30 grand a month, minimum. Private money, relationships, houses, you know, so this is an investment, this is an asset. Who solved the problem for me? Steve Jobs, right? So, um, you know, let's not talk about Androids. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. But like, what I, what I meant to say is when you get into this real estate stuff, you start, what the skill that you learn, especially through real estate wholesaling, is you learn the skill of going and finding discounted deals, at deals at a discounted price, and selling them for a higher price, solving problems, right? Building teams, running a business, and you can transfer that sales. You can transfer that skill to anything else you want. Once you master this skill, you can literally transfer it to buying businesses. You can transfer it to um, whatever, man, whatever you want to do. So it's not about real estate. The house is just a result of, you know, um, it's just a result of the problems that we solve. It's, but it's not, it's not, we're in the problem solving business. It's just so happened that it's real estate. I could be wholesaling pants, right? I could be uh, maybe going and buying, uh, you know, mics or whatever it is at a discount and just putting it on Amazon and flipping it, right? I, can, I, could, I could be wholesaling anything I want. Wholesale can be anything. It just so happened that we wholesale real estate, ugly houses, right? Beautiful houses too, but mainly ugly houses. All right, guys, so anything, man, listen, today, if you're sitting, I don't, I don't care where you're sitting, if you're struggling, if you have a phone, if you have a damn phone, you have access to YouTube, and you're struggling making a minimum of 10000 a month, it's because you don't want it. It's because you're lazy. It's because you're not, um, you know, you, you're spending too much time with Netflix. You're spending too much time scrolling through social media and not, not using it, you're letting it use you, but you're not using it, right? Um, you, you're not, that, that's, the, that's, that's the only way. There is no way today, in 2023, you can justify not making a minimum of $10,000 a month sitting in your couch if, you, if you're willing to learn a skill. So many out there. If I didn't know nothing about real estate, meaning real estate investing today, and I want to make, let's say, an extra five, 10 grand a month, guys, Here's, here's a skill I would learn today. In 2023, most houses are not selling because the interest rates are high. So most homeowners that wanted to upgrade their houses, meaning like buy a bigger house or maybe buy a smaller house because they're old, whatever, whatever the case may be, or I move into a new state, guess what? Because interest rates are so high, most people cannot afford their monthly payments. What they're actually doing is they're not buying houses. They're renovating their existing homes. They're adding like new square footage. They're adding new flooring, new kitchens, making the kitchen more beautiful, the bathrooms, adding the extra bedroom. So if I wanted to, today, I didn't have any skill. I don't know how to wholesale real estate. 
I don't know how to, um, you know, um, I don't know, sales, whatever it is, I would go learn literally um, how to work with my hands and help people renovate their homes. I, you can make so much extra money right now through that, literally. So like, if you're struggling, I'm sorry, you're not, you're not looking for solutions. Like, if, you're, if the only thing you have is excuses, guys, you, you get to keep it. That's just the way it works. So um, you wanna make sure you learn a skill. I'm telling you, you want to make sure you learn a skill. 2023 onward, already started a long time ago. You guys, like technology is taking over. We have this new thing called chat GPT. It's literally like, guys, the artificial intelligence is, is going to wipe out so many jobs, you won't even believe it. Even in my space, in real estate investing, salespeople are going to be outdated. Nobody's going to need anybody anymore to call a seller. Chat GPT will do it for you. Uh, coming up with scripting for content. Coming up with video ideas for content. Chat GPT can do it for you, right? So like there's so many things nowadays that if you don't adapt, you'll completely get wiped out. So if you're sitting at a nine to five right now, thinking you're secured, rethink again. If you're an entrepreneur, but you're doing everything manually, you're not, you're not adapting to the new technology, learning how to use it. Well, the people that's gonna win now is the people that learn how to help companies or other people implement these technologies that's it those are the people who's going to win so everything else will be wiped out so if you're sitting there like guys like youtube the, the great thing about youtube university that's where i learned most of the things that i know about real estate investing then i invested in myself in a mentorship to learn creative finance but like most of the things that i've learned on youtube guys it costed me zero money the great thing about youtube university is there is no student loans attached to it how many people do you know that finish university, college, whatever, with student loans and can't make five grand a month? How many? And all they're doing is paying student loans, can barely afford the rent, right? So like guys, like YouTube University is free, but it's also, not only is free, it's easy, but it's also easy to not sit down and watch it. I remember when I first started guys, like I stopped the party, I used to party a lot, go out a lot. I stopped the partying. I would be watching like five hour, you know, YouTube videos to learn about um, how to talk to sellers, how to come properties, um, you know, what is a good deal? Um, what am I, you know what I mean? Like different type of legal uh, terms when it comes to real estate, all this listening to podcasts. I stopped listening to music for literally two years, guys. I did not play a single song in my freaking car, nothing but podcasts, about real estate, investing, entrepreneurship, mindset, listening to audio books, right? That's a sacrifice I had to make. It's not, like I, it's not like I didn't wanna listen to music. It's not like I didn't have the eager to go out and party, but it's a sacrifice. But people get lazy and complacent because it's like, oh, I just come back from my nine to five, I'm tired, just wanna watch Netflix and chill. But then you complain that you're only making two grand a month, three grand a month, right? So in life, you got to make choices, guys.